Hello everyone, my name is Govind and I am currently working as a data analyst. I welcome you all to my channel and in today's video we are again going to solve one important Power BI DAX based interview question that has been asked for the position of Power BI developer, data analyst, business analyst like that. And this question is especially of the heart level and it has been asked in one of the MNC's interview and has been shared with me one of my LinkedIn connections. So let me make you aware about the question. So here you can see I am having the matrix visual. Okay, before telling about the visual, let me show you the tables that I am having. So I am having the sales table. I am having some details in my sales table and I am having the date table in which I am having four columns date, year, month number and month name. So month number column is like if I am like if the month is January so the month number would be 1, if Feb the month number would be 2 so on and so forth till December month number would be 12. So this is my month number column and uh, these two tables are connected with each other via one to many relationship. So let's get back to the question. So basically we have to calculate the running sum or I can say running sum of the sales year and month wise and that resets every six month. So what do I mean by that? So this is a matrix. I am having year and month name in my rows and sales in the values and this is the measure or I can say column that we have to add to this visual however I have already did so just to make you understand I have added it, added it here and we will again going to build it from scratch so here you can see the sales measure which is nothing but the uh, sales amount column sum of the sales amount column and one another measure that we have to calculate running sum that resets after every six month so if you see running sum is what if I am the uh, if I am in the month of January so I'll get the same value but in February so I will get the value of Jan plus Feb similarly in my if I am in March so I will get the value Jan Feb and March so till the time I am having the first trade first initial six month which is Jan to June I will have the running sum like the sum of all the previous values including the current values but when I uh, come in the second half of the year like after initial six months so my running sum should be reset reset it means it should start again so here you can see clearly in June it has calculated me the running sum of all the previous month but in the July it has reset you can clearly see here and similarly it has uh, calculated the running sum till the month of December and again the another period start another year so it has again reset right so this is what we are supposed to calculate over here so let me tell you step by step how can we approach this particular problem so for now I am gonna remove this running sum and let's create another measure and we will build this measure again I am naming this as running sum second okay so here I am gonna declare the variable and I'll just name it as first six months okay so here my focus is to modify the filter context right here in my visual I can see year is coming from the date table and month name is also coming from the date table and this particular sales is coming from the sales table and this is getting filtered because of the relationship between the tables right so here we have to modify the sales and we have to calculate the running sum right so whenever we have to modify any kind of filter like here if you can see the current filters are uh, year and month name this is, uh, that, uh, that is why I am getting the split of the total sales the, because this is my filter context over here right so I have to modify this particular thing so that I would not get the same um, uh, same sales column in my uh, matrix so again like I can make use of calculate function I have to calculate sales but in the modified filter context here I can make use of filter function because 
uh, I have to get rid of the filter so I can uh, pass the date table in all so what all does is that in the back end it returns all the rows of the table irrespective of any filter so what will happen if I, I would drag uh, the measure in uh, any measure in this particular matrix visual so this filtering will work this year and month and then I will have the f uh, filtered values but since I have to calculate the total cells in some another context so first I have to remove this initial filters which is coming from the date table right okay now here comes the condition so condition would be uh, I can say that max of date column this should be greater and equal to the date column right then I can give one more condition by using and operator okay so first let me tell you about this particular condition condition what it will do so suppose if I am in the month of February so this max would give me a 28 Feb because uh, in February the max date would be uh, 28 of Feb so I am telling Power BI that from the date table here you will get all the dates so from this particular table filter all those rows where the dates are less than the max of date so if I am the March I would get max of date 31st of March so for the particular that row I will get the range of rows from 1st of January to 31st of March it is because all the dates are less than to the 31st of March similarly for each row I'll get the max of the dates and I'll get all the previous dates before that particular date that is why I have given this particular condition also I, I have to match the selected year as well so I can say selected value of year this also should be equal to the year date table year column I can pass this as well right so for this particular condition what do I mean by that suppose if I am in month of August so it should see the selected year which would be 2018 if it comes here so it should see uh, it should match the year with this particular year which is 2019 2019 so that would be the selected year for this con uh, this context right so that is that is why I have given this condition as well and now my another condition is that since I am calculating first six month sales right so I can say that my month number column this particular column should be should be uh, what I can say is that less than and equal to six so from the June it would be true but when it comes to July it, it would become false because uh, 7 is not uh, I can say less than 6 right so it would stop this particular uh, condition is for resetting the uh, resetting the cumulative sum right so this will work this will check that uh, if I am in the month of uh, suppose if I am in the month of July so it would check that is this particular condition is met or not so here can check that July month number is 7 so here this condition would become false so here it will reset the cumulative sum so yes this three condition I can wrap I can close the bracket for filter and close the bracket for calculate similar to that I would create one another variable and in this variable I would calculate the second period which is the Ju July to December so I would say last six months sales for now I would calculate sales just the difference is that here I need to I need to give month name should be greater than six so from seven to twelve I would have all the uh, condition true right so this would become my last six month sale at the last I can make use of return statement because if you are using variable in your tax code so return is must I can give if 
my max of month number is greater than 6 right if month number is greater than 6 so I, w I want last 6 month sales otherwise first 6 month sales I can close the if condition as well so here like here it will also check if this particular suppose if I am in the October row it will check that uh, uh, October is 10th month number right so 10 is greater than 6 right so this would become true and I will get this result which is the second half so that's why I have given this particular condition I can hit enter uh, now the measure has been created now let's visualize whether it is giving us the correct result or not okay so you can clearly see that in gen the sales was this uh, this particular value is the total of this two value then this value is the total of this three values like that and it would calculate the running sum till the month of January uh, sorry June right and here you can clearly see when I uh, like when the filter or I can say filters are of July so it has reset the running sum again right 29 to 29 similar row and then it has again started up calculating the running sum and it will stop in December now another period start it resets the running sum so yes this is how you can uh, answer or i can say you can approach this particular tax problem or uh, if you know any any other solution for this particular problem so please do let me know in the comment section and if you are having any other doubt related to this problem so please do ask me in the comments i would happy to answer and i would also share this file link somewhere in the description so please uh, feel free to download that file and start practice so yes, this is all about this video. Thank you.